I have a quick tip for you folks today about repairing your broken receiver antennas. Whenever people ask me about repairing their receiver antennas, I point them to this video from Bruce Simpson over at RC Model Reviews. And he explains that if you, if you cut your antenna or something, all you have to do is snip off the cut end and then strip back the insulation of the wire and the braided metal sheath of the coaxial wire uh, to make the exposed end of the wire be the right length again. And voila, you have a new antenna, just a little bit uh, shorter in overall length. And if you, if that all didn't exactly make sense to you and you want more details about that, you can just go watch this video. You don't need me to, to narrate it to you. But here's the thing where I think I can improve on Bruce's technique with all humility. Bruce says that what you need to do, you need to cut back the exact right length of insulation, 31 millimeters in this case for 2.4 gigahertz. And he, as you can see on the screen here, he has you mark the 31 millimeter point using a ruler and then strip the insulation back to 31 millimeters. And I find that that's really hard for me to get exactly right, uh, especially if like I screw up the cut a little bit, maybe the insulation doesn't cut smoothly or, or whatever. So what I like to do when I'm doing these repairs is I will pull back the insulation, to, let's say to 33 millimeters. I'll give myself a few extra millimeters of length. And now I've got the uninsulated section of wire sticking out, but it's too long. At that point, it's very easy to just snip off the end of the wire entirely than to make the exposed length exactly as long as I need it to be. So rather than be precise when I'm stripping the insulation, which I find to be a little bit difficult, I'd like to be precise. I'll just snip the end of the wire entirely. It's much more easy for me to get the length precisely right doing it that way. That's my little tip for you. Happy flying.